What's up guys? It's Curtis from Merch Titans and in today's video I wanted to catch you guys up on what my team and I have been working on for the past four months. Obviously we have our product research and keyword research tool over at MerchTitans.com and we're building out some automation software that will make it really really easy for you guys to upload your existing designs or even new designs to multiple print-on-demand platforms simultaneously and we're trying to simplify this process as much as we possibly can um, and make so that you can organize your workflow and increase your productivity with our software so basically right here you can see I have the software open it will be for PC and Mac and today I want to show you just using Printful just gonna enable Printful you can enable as you see here all these print-on-demand platforms and we have more planned but today I'll just go over Printful and I'll upload products to Etsy. You can also upload products to Shopify through Printful and to Amazon through Printful. And pretty much any store that you can add to Printful, you can uh, automate that with this software. So how it works is you uh, basically set up your data inside of a CSV spreadsheet. So over here in column A, as you can see, I have test data here just for, the, for this video. But in column A, I have the image path to my designs as you can see they're over here it's the wrong folder so I have my designs in here and a quick little tutorial on how to grab the file path super easy you can control a inside here go to number one hold in shift and right click and copy as path so basically I can come over here whoop, and paste that path and there you go and make sure obviously it lines up see here six design six but anyway, so I have the image path here. Column B is the title of my design, and this is all test data. Uh, the, uh, column C is the description, and column D is the tags. And then uh, column E for T public would be the primary tag. And again, I just simplified this as much as possible. But you do have full flexibility over what columns are your title, what columns are your description, and what columns are your tags for every single platform. So if I go to Printful, you can see here CSV title column number one. Our column is number two, so you can see here, that would be B. Uh, the CSV description column number three would be here, C. And uh, CSV tag column number four would be D. But let's say you were you wanted different titles for Redbubble, different titles for Etsy, different titles for Amazon. You can come through here and adjust these. And so your spreadsheet, you have full flexibility however you want to set that up. Now let's, uh, let's actually show you this software in motion. So I have over here, just have Printful Etsy enabled. So I'm gonna grab the CSV spreadsheet right here, MTA test, and then I'm gonna load the settings. As you can see, the settings are blank in here and I've already preloaded them. So I'm gonna come over here and select my, let's start with the white shirt, just a basic Gildan shirt. So now if you come over to the uh, Printful tab, you can see I have my Etsy store URL I have the name of the product I want to upload my design to here. Uh, the color, basically, there's three colors for the Gildan shirt. So one was white, two was, I believe, black, and three was navy, if I'm not mistaken. Let's say you wanted all colors, you would just do that. Uh, let's say there was ten colors. It goes across from top left all the way horizontally to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. But for now, we'll just stick to one. Uh, the product mo uh, product and mock-up, so I'm going to go with clothing, and I'm going to go with flat mock-ups. The profit percentage I'll leave at 120%, and this profit down here is for certain pieces of clothing. They don't have the percent. Instead, it's a dollar sign, so it's only necessary to put that in here for those types of clothing. So now my settings are all set up. I'm going to come back to the start. I loaded my settings, and again, I'm only doing printful. Uh, for instance, I could enable all of these platforms and take these, this data and these, these designs and upload them to Printful. And I could do Etsy, Amazon, and Shopify. I could upload them to Redbubble, Spreadshirt, TeePublic, and Zazzle. And I could do that simultaneously at the same time. And I'll get into that later with more videos. But today, I'll just stick to Printful with Etsy. And what's cool is you could do Shopify and Amazon. So I could start them all in different instances and have them all just run complete on a complete autopilot. So I'll go ahead and start this. Settings are good. Let's minus out of this. Take a second, then I'll ask for your license key. I'm going to click OK and grab this and come over here. So what it'll do is open up Printful.com. 
and you need to log in and this is just one of my test accounts for this video so I'll log in real quick and then it'll automatically go to the store store URL you put into the settings it'll go select the product you selected it'll select the colors uh, it'll upload the design all this is happening on autopilot right here so I'll sit back and let that work and show you how it works so right now it's waiting for the image to finish uploading and uh, once that image is done uploading it will select it and then it'll go to the next step so as you can see here it'll select the flat mockup as I have my settings puts the title description everything in and the tags submits there and then enters the profit percentage and then submits it to Etsy so now that's being sent over to Etsy and then it'll loop through this CSV spreadsheet and go to the next row which would be row 2 or row 3 here and we'll let you see that one more time so now it's uploading the image for the second one and what I will do is I want to show you something really cool with the software it's an update we just added recently so let's go back to the settings we have that running right now um, I also let's say for instance one of these designs on mugs so I'll go and load my mug settings which basically just changed the product type here and the settings for mug um, now I will start this again while the shirts are running right here so keep that in mind the shirts are going and now I'm loading up another tab for the mugs pull that up here and again I gotta sign in and now it should open up the mugs because that's the settings I have set up and it'll upload those designs to mugs so see how it's all working again this is on full autopilot I'm not doing anything and you can go through so you can see over here we use chromium as the browser so you can come over here and look at the shirts in action it's on design number three it looks like submitting those and now over here on the mugs it's still waiting for it to upload here we go we'll let you watch this I told default mock-up I told it the 15 ounce um, picture and then the profit at eight dollars and it'll submit that so now you can see I right now I have two separate instances running one's uploading my designs to shirts one's uploading it to mugs let's say I wanted this particular design on tank tops I could do that and on posters I could do that I could go set up my settings and load them and then just restart it and have this upload to literally 10 products at a time simultaneously through the entire Excel spreadsheet of data so it can completely revolutionize the way you upload your designs and save you several hours per day uh, there will be no need for VAs for instance for uploading if you just change a little your workflow a little bit and start organizing your information like your designs and folders your spreadsheets of data a certain way it'll be super easy so right now it's uploading mugs and t-shirts and I can come over to the upload status and see where we're at so the first tab four out of six uploaded the second one two out of six total six out of twelve and that'll update in real time as they're submitted and then another really cool thing for instance these designs right now are only uploading to Etsy through Printful but let's say I have a Shopify store and let's say I have Amazon integrated through Etsy that I want to do this to all I would have to do for instance I have the mug settings loaded and I wanted these mugs on Amazon all I'd have to do is come and change the store URL here to my Amazon store URL inside Printful go back to the start click start and submit it and boom now they're uploading to Amazon too I can go back in here and adjust it to Shopify and now they're uploading to Shopify as well so there's literally no limits to what you can do you can upload multiple products at a time you can upload to multiple platforms at a time you can have over 10 instances at a time down here on complete autopilot I'm telling you it'll save you so much time but that's just one brief example I wanted to get it up and show you guys so that you can see how it works um, we've been working really hard on this and I want to release it by the end of November if possible we do have a beta Facebook group for this Merch Titans automation app if you'd like to join that group and test the software before we go live that would be great you can find the link in the description below Anyways, you can see here we're at 12 or 10 out of 12 uploaded. One's going to shirts, which looks like is done, and then it automatically closes down here. So right now it's just on mugs, and once that's done, then it'll close this window. 
and you can see here to check your status. And then another cool thing I forgot to mention, let's say for instance the app had a problem, something went down and you were like, let's say you were at four out of six uploads done. What you can come in if that happens and just restart the app is come change the CSV start row to four and then go back to here and click start and it'll take off where it, let, where it had that problem. So there's a lot of flexibility you have with this software. And honestly, we are just getting started. I have plans to integrate multiple platforms. As you can see right here, we have Redbubble, Printful, and Etsy, which also includes Shopify and Amazon, and any store inside Printful. Spreadshirt, and inside Spreadshirt, we actually have the European market, and we have the .com site. And TeePublic, and of course, Zazzle. And I'll get into those ones in, other, in later videos, but for now, that should be it. I'm excited to get you guys to try this out and test it and see how it can completely change how you upload your designs and organize your designs for print on demand. I'll see you guys in the next video.